here we are in uh, Greenock, which is about, uh, about 10 12 miles uh, west of Glasgow. We're on the banks of the River Clyde. Behind me, you can see the vista of what they call the, the Arakan Alps, the hills in the background. The dock you see in the background is what they call East India Harbour. This was uh, traditionally the place where a lot of the tugs and uh, small craft that worked around the port of Greenock, Port Glasgow, and Gurup. These were stored here and this was their stabling point. So we've come up here to, to drop a couple of cabins up at Gurup High School. So just in the process of waiting for to get into the site now. And uh, just basically having a wander around the, uh, the dock area at Greenock, which as you can see is it's sadly been neglected over the years, but now they're in the process of uh, upgrading it to uh, new pathways and new dock sites and all the rest of it. But um, the hustle and bustle of the traditional maritime trade that used to be in here years gone by is now gone. And uh, there is only one yard left here from probably the best part of about six or eight years gone by. So there's only one yard left here now to build the ships, which is a uh, Ferguson shipbuilders, which is uh, just off to my left here. So uh, what we'll do is we'll do a couple of shows now and uh, do a video and basically show you around. We're looking uh, in towards the town of Greenock here and we're panning round to the right now. And the boats we see in front of us belong to a company called Clyde Marine which are used for plying the Firth here. We're panning round to the right. A big building we can see in front of us coming up now, the sort of old Georgian type buildings known as the Custom House and the key to the right of that is the Custom House Key. Coming round again to the right we can see the container, container terminal, terminal which imports and exports quite a large percentage of goods coming in and out of the west coast of Scotland and the Glasgow area. Quite a large percentage of the goods here go over to the States. Carrying on round to the right, looking across what they call the tail of the bank. During the Second World War this was a famous anchorage where convoys would congregate before they would cross the North Atlantic to the States and congregate here after they've done the convoy. The hills we see in the background here are called the Arakan Alps, very famous amongst uh, Glaswegian and Clydeside climbing fraternity, uh, hence the name of the Arakan Alps. As we continue around to the right, we see what they call Roseneath Point, quite a multitude of yachts there. And off through there you can just make out what they call the Rune Arrows, which is the entrance to Faz Lane, and beyond that is the Clyde Submarine Base, operated by the Royal Navy. Uh, continuing round then we see the town of Helensborough, which is quite a seaside type uh, resort uh, used by Glaswegians and Clydesiders in years gone by for their holidays in, in the middle of the summer. Canning on round then, just coming into the left hand side of the frame there is what they call Craig and Dorn, which was a small Clyde port uh, pier where steamers used to run out of flying to various uh, holiday resorts and uh, piers up and down the Clyde in years gone by. Carrying on round then, you can see the red boys which mark the channel which runs up the River Clyde up into towards Clyde Bank and up into Glasgow, where years ago there would have been a hell of a lot of ships running into with cargoes from all over the world. We're looking right up the river here, up towards the town of Dumbarton, and then coming round to the right here, we can see the Ferguson shipyards and sites of, there was about two or three other shipyards here in the years gone by. Sadly there's only one left now which is Ferguson's but um, as you see the modern buildings coming into the right here this was the site of another two or three other shipyards which were on these sites which are sadly gone now uh, and you see people enjoying the new walkways and the new office buildings. Now here we are at um, Gurek High School, it's quite windy and you just see the new cabins going in there and the crane just dropping them into place see the cabins in front of us here that have just been dropped off this morning. The cabin that you see on the back of the Dyer Howells lorry, just coming into view now, is uh, the third last one going in. So uh, the one after that is going to be mine and uh, we'll be off then. Just looking over Gurek now, going over Gurek Bay, see the high flats and uh, what they call the Admiralty berth there in the foreground. See a ship coming down the channel there, just passing the grey coloured building which is the Her Majesty's Coast Guard 
which uh, overlooks the safety of the shipping up and around um, the Firth of Clyde and the River Clyde. See a ship coming down the channel there. Just looking across towards Helensborough. I see Rosemeath Point sticking out there. Coming round looking over the, the Lus Hills.